Hello folks, uh, this is Guy doing Armory Man Final Front, uh, Part 2A. Uh, pretty much, uh, as the intro stated, this is taking place two years after Land Saint Air. And this is the third part of the series. Uh, looks like the Tan have uh, been ball necked at a Capitol building, and we're uh, to take them out. Uh, seems there are some texture issues, but it's still a lot uh, better user friendliness compared to uh, the other land, sea, and air nonsense. So I guess what they learned was uh, to kind of refine their texture packs a bit so it's less heavy on the processors or something. Also, uh, as I said before, the uh, auto aim and the manual aim features are sort of changed to where they complement each other, which can be a bad thing or not or a good thing. Also, uh, any time that you pick up the uh, on Mac machine gun, it overtops your normal gun, and your normal gun fires one bullet with one two second delay before you can fire again. Meaning that combat is a little bit more bogged down. Anyway, now that we got the changes out of the way, let's go ahead and just clear out the city. As you can see, we're already halfway there. Pretty much, these are just the intro levels, and not really much to them. Uh, at, yeah, I'm playing this on medium difficulty, and uh, pretty much, you can tell that things are a little or user friendly. The tanks on the other hand unfortunately for some reason seem to have some graphical issues. Uh, as you can see here there was a major frames per second wonkiness that happened. And also you can see the tank uh, mechanics are a little harder to aim with than they should be. Uh, and uh, that does become an aggravation at a later time. Also, uh, driving the tank involves driving kind of like a bulldozer or a bobcat, uh, which is basically you have to pull your two levers forward to move forward, put one forward and one back to turn directions, uh, put both of them back to back up. Pretty simple there, nothing too complicated. But like I said, the uh, turret for the tank is a little user unfriendly for whatever reason but I've only seen problems with it in this scenario the training mission wasn't as much of a hassle as this one is now as you can see here that tank shell totally hit that bench but yet it didn't launch him kinda irritating isn't it And as you can see, even the machine gun kind of lies to you and won't hit the target very well. Like I said, I hope this part gets cleaned up and this is just one issue, but like I said, I did experience some frames per second issues next to this building. But it's nothing too bad. And it looks like we have one more tan kill, and there we go. That's the end of the first mission. See, like I said, it's just the intro levels. They're pretty fast, pretty quick. Nothing much to them. Don't exactly know what's going on other than the Tanner trying to invade again. Looks like this time we're fighting along the rooftops. And we're escorting what appears to be a convoy. Uh, so pretty much what our mission is, is we just take out the tanks as we move along. As the intro showed. Uh, there's targets on the ground, which may or may not appear on your screen, so all you just kind of get a good look there. And if your convoy takes too many hits, you automatically lose. Uh, so this is a timed mission, which means that, well, okay, that was sort of fail. But we'll try this again, where we left off. Went too far much in. But pretty much you just have to take your time and also you have to move quick. Also as you can see the tan like to use a lot of 
the uh, automatic machine gunner units so why you can only fire one shot at a time which makes no sense why they took out the tap firing ability I guess they were trying to nerf the rifle a little bit or something between games to experiment with it but it does kind of become an annoyance pretty much just one more shot on the top of the tank kills the tank uh, however, damage isn't always displayed like it was there, so kind of keep that in mind as you're firing them so you don't waste too much time. Also, while engaging the bottom ground targets doesn't really matter much, it just saves your convoy a little bit of extra health. But there isn't really much to this level either. This is another one of those intro levels that just, there, there's nothing much going on here. Also, there are some graphical issues, like right here. Looks like you can get up there, but you can't. And looks like some lazy texture coding. Seems 3D was a little sloppy in this uh, version, as far as some of the graphics go. I mean, they did try to clean up their texture packets to where it's less uh, heavy on the processor, but at the same time, it, they definitely did kind of slack up on its detail. But pretty much, like I said, this is just pretty much the same thing here. You just walk up to a section of the bridge, pick up mortars, pop a few tanks, go on to the next section. And we'll go ahead and take a snipe one of these guys here. You might not be able to see his head, but there was one there. A rather short and quick mission. Just due to the time and nature of it, there's going to be save states, and that, there hasn't been much use or call for it. Now, as you can see here, there's no way to tell if that tank's been damaged or not. So I don't know if I've technically killed it, but I'll let it go. And there's another guy up there. You can barely see his head, but I can't get a good shot on him. So I'll just continue on. But uh figure I'd post a few just off and on games while I'm doing this project and kind of slow down. But it seems that this game rather moves way too quick for me to do that. I could probably just, the rate it's going with, I could probably burn through a lot of the sections of the game. And now they start bringing out three tanks on you. And pretty much, as you can see, there's that big red dot there, meaning that I'm nearly done with the mission. So... Pretty much if I lose here, uh, I'm just going to reload the save state and get her done. Oh, looks like there's a guy back there, but I forgot about him. Hope it didn't affect anything. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Now we're at the final set of the tanks. Notice they give you like they give you six mortars there. So just one shot per one takes them out rather quick. They're engaging the convoy unfortunately, so if I don't hurry up I could lose. And he killed the convoy right before the mortar landed. <laughs> well, I'll just reload the state from there and I'll show you how to complete it. Like I said, no, uh, it was just to save a little bit of time. So here we are. We're back to what we were doing before. As you can see, I cleared it a little bit quicker this time. And we'll go ahead and call it a video. So uh, this is King signing out. Thank you.